I'm Jed Selbwinte with Two Works For You. Here are today's top stories. Right now, authorities are looking for two suspects involved in a shooting with a property owner here in Tulsa County. We're told the owner spotted the two trying to get into containers on his property, and when he confronted them, shots were fired. Authorities believe one of the suspects was hit by a bullet. They are searching for them now. Governor Mary Fallon is giving her final Tulsa State of the State address. The luncheon is underway at the Cox Business Center in downtown. Governor Fallon is speaking to the business community about recent victories and updating several economic development projects. She will end her term as our state's governor in January. And with the first day of school happening tomorrow for Tulsa students, the Tulsa Board of Education decides to move forward and finally rename Lee Elementary School. Last night, the board approved the name Council Oak Elementary in a 6-1 to one vote. The Council Oak Tree plays a huge role in Tulsa's founding when the first settlers of what is now the Muscogee Creek Nation came to this area. The tree is a historic landmark and was considered Tulsa's first town hall and the seed that started the city. Now let's get a check of today's forecast with meteorolo meteorologist Kirsten Lang. Hey, Kirsten. Good afternoon. Well, we are looking at some cooler than average temperatures for the next several days ahead. Uh, we're going to be seeing temps that go at least 5 to close to 10 degrees below where they should be for this time of year. So for a future track for the rest of the day, you'll see a little bit more sunshine. Again, you'll see those winds coming in out of the north. It's going to be a nice breeze. It'll be dry. High should be getting up into the 80s this afternoon. Then overnight tonight, we'll continue to look for clear conditions as we drop down into the 60s. So the rest of our day is looking pretty good. We're going to get up into the low 80s at noon, 85 for our high by 3 to 5 o'clock. And then with that low humidity, we'll continue through the overnight hours, dropping back down into the 60s. As we move into Wednesday and Thursday, there's an increased chance for some showers across the area, about 40 to 50 percent. And then we'll drive for Friday through the weekend with tips back in the 90s.